A key element of the UK Spine's mission is to support development of drugs which target biological drivers of aging. Toward this goal, the UK Spine's Bridge program has funded the project Identification of Lipid Mediators Provided by Autophagy that Polarize Anti-Inflammatory Macrophages. The principal investigator is Professor Katja Simon, Professor of Immunology at the Kennedy Institute of Rheumatology at the University of Oxford. Felix Richter is collaborating on this work. Felix is a Welcome Trust doctoral student in the Simon Group at the University of Oxford. Adipose tissues play a crucial role in maintaining systemic metabolic homeostasis. During aging, the metabolic function of adipose tissue is impaired, but the characteristics of those changes have not been fully delineated, and the relative contribution of autophagy in adipose tissues to impacts of age-associated autophagic decline is unknown. Targeting pathways specifically involved in adipose tissue autophagy may yield novel interventional opportunities. Tissue macrophages take a central role in the aged immune system, controlling inflammatory processes. These macrophages experience age-associated phenotype shift. Preliminary data supports the hypothesis that free fatty acid release from autophagy-deficient adipocytes may control macrophage polarization during distal inflammation deleteriously shifting macrophage phenotype from an anti-inflammatory M2 type to a pro-inflammatory M1 type. This shift promotes low-grade tissue inflammation, insulin resistance, and adipocyte impairment. Restoring balance towards M2 type macrophages would slow the on onset or progression of age-related diseases, and this shift may be affected via identified lipids. The diagram is from a 2018 Nutrients article and depicts adipocyte macrophage phenotypes. Toward the aim of alleviating inflammation, this project has two specific goals. First, to identify pathways involved in adipocyte autophagy which decline with age to yield potentially druggable targets. And second, to interrogate the shift of adipocyte macrophages to identify lipids which increase the anti-inflammatory phenotype. To elucidate the origin of age-related changes in lipid metabolism, the contribution of autophagy and adipose tissue aging will be interrogated by assessing autophagy levels in mature adipocytes during aging in mice and in human donors aged 30 to 65 years. Lipid species which affect a shift toward the anti-inflammatory phenotype will be identified via lipidomic screening for differentially secreted lipids, free fatty acids, in young, aged, and autophagy deficient samples, and the effects of differentially secreted lipids on macrophage polarization will be characterized. Lipid species therapeutic potential will be verified in vivo by attempting to rescue effects observed in an intestinal inflammation model. Those lipid species will further be tested in urine models of aging. The outputs of this work will provide new information on autophagy and adipocytes to guide translational efforts targeting specific autophagy rather than bulk autophagy toward discovery of interventions for inflammation. Specifically, new potential targets for therapeutics may be revealed as promising starting points for downstream drug discovery programs and lipid species with potential to shift macrophage polarization to an anti-inflammatory phenotype may be revealed for therapeutic development. Collaboration with an industry partner has been initiated to explore an effective in vivo delivery method for free fatty acids. The raw lipidomics data set generated in this study will be made available to other researchers via the Metabolomics Workbench Repository. This data set may be helpful for other researchers studying changes in lipid metabolism during aging. In addition, the University Fell Fund is supporting a seminar series on aging organized by the principal investigator. To engage the broader public, the team aims to produce two animated short videos about the process of autophagy in the body and how it is affecting aging. One of the two videos is aimed at over 65s, whereas the other is aimed at a younger audience. These videos shall provide a platform for further discussion on the topic of aging and lifestyle. Drugs designed to mitigate aging would be protective against multiple morbidities via a single intervention. Our current understanding of biological mechanisms driving aging is incomplete. Professor Simon offers her thoughts on the question, how will this project contribute to a better understanding of the biological mechanisms of aging? There's a general understanding in the field that only a handful of cellular processes lead to the multimorbidities that occur with age. We're working on one of these processes, which is called autophagy, the major degradation mechanism in the cell. It degrades unwanted material accumulating with age, 
It maintains a healthy proteome and genome and inhibits reactive oxygen formation, all major hallmarks of cellular aging. Our work shows that autophagy prevents immune aging, including inflammaging, the excessive cytokine production that occurs in the elderly. Levels of these cytokines are one of the best predictors of morbidity and mortality. That is because inflammation has a detrimental role to play in the major age-related multimorbidities, including neurodegeneration, cardiovascular disease, cancer and diabetes. Autophagy levels decline with age and we have shown that reintroducing the right metabolites in the aging organism can maintain autophagy levels and a healthy immune system. We're aiming to understand how autophagy in the microenvironment prevents inflammation. The main producers of inflammatory cytokines that characterize inflammation are macrophages, and the microenvironment they live in is crucially important to whether they're inflammatory or anti-inflammatory. Macrophages live in adipose tissue, and adipose tissue provides our body with free fatty acids and provides the macrophages in their environment with free fatty acids. Our work demonstrates that autophagy is a mechanism by which lipid droplets can be degraded and therefore providing these free fatty acids. Anti-inflammatory macrophages thrive on free fatty acids, so the provision of these would make them anti-inflammatory. Adipose tissue type and distribution changes over the lifetime of the individual. With the knowledge of which free fatty acids are provided by autophagy, we may be able to replenish them in older individuals in whom autophagy no longer provides these.